house who, you know, she's lived in the same house for 60 years, so it was like this total time capsule. I got to see where, you know, the room that my mom grew up in, which is like exactly the way she had left it, you know, and, um, I mean, obviously that was the catalyst for the second verse, finding that note, which I still have, I actually have that note, um, sitting on the bedside table next to my bed. Now, did you write this in Providence? Yeah, I wrote it in Providence. It's not about Providence. I actually, I was, I was on tour and we were driving down through the East Coast and I was driving the van and I had this, 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 uh, this, well, what happened was we were driving, I think we were driving through Rhode Island and I said, did I, I was like looking through all the pictures on my phone from the tour so far and uh, tour, Ross, who was the tour manager, said, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're passing through Providence and by the time I looked up from the pictures I'd missed it I, I was like, okay, well, switch seats with me, I have to write this down. And that's when the song came out. Very, very nice. Very nice. So uh, next year, we go into a totally different vibe. Now, this song, Elephants in Water, is, was the first one that we recorded for this project. Before we even moved up to L.A., we, we had started recording this. Pre-L.A. This was back in my old studio in San Diego, in University Heights. And just listen to those oohs. That, that was, uh, well, we'll, get to, we'll hear it again. Yeah, so I remember, I remember approaching you at a certain point, probably early this year, and just saying, like, hey, you know, I think we got to get some of these new songs down. Yeah. You know, Elephants in Water. Devil and Me. These could just be great, you know, with full production, full band. And uh, so we went in and we just did this song. And it came together pretty quickly. The vocals, I want to say, we hit in like one or two takes, didn't we? Yeah, it was just a few takes. It was kind of just like, we weren't even planning to do vocals then. And I remember you just kind of were feeling it. So we set the mic up and just went for it. Some days you just have like a really lucky session like that. Yeah. A lot of times it takes more time to get everything right. Well, and for the rest of the album, that's not even actually you singing. That's right. That's right. That's Dan. It ended up yeah. being me. Um, <laughs> you, I think you played some kind of bass in the verses, though. Well, what, what happened was I just kind of stood there and talked out all the, ver all the, all the verses, and you just auto-tuned the crap out of it. No, no, no. No, this is like the this is like your you know total breakup song here. Which I was definitely feeling during the A nice bit of vitriol on some of the lyrics, too. <laughs> I hope you think of me in puke. I like that. I like saying the word puke night after night. As much as I hate puking, anything with puke in it, any song with puke in it, okay, in my book. So these oohs and ahs, there is nothing more fun than doing a session with Bro Diva. That's uh, Chad and EJ of Bro Diva. Um, and the, the truth is that aside from Russell and Chad and, and EJ, Everything else on here is is Dan and I. Yep. So the days when we got to have, well, mostly Dan. Uh, but the, 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 no. that was pretty. I guess it's pretty even. But the days that we got to have other people in the studio was always kind of fun. And yeah. Chad and Earl just get so oh my god, they just have the best energy. They come in and just totally fun. They get a Crazy take right, and it's like oh my god. And, <laughs> And uh, at the time we were recording in, in San Diego, we were recording in this apartment complex, and yeah. Dan, Dan, Dan had to tell him to, to keep it down because <laughs> every because it was a little uh, bit later at night, and I had neighbors right upstairs, and they were just screaming, and it was so much fun. I felt uh, like such a jerk, but after every take, I was like, "All right, guys, I know you're really excited. I know we're really having a good time here, but we gotta just keep it down a little." <laughs> well, yeah, well, because they when they get when they fin and keep in mind these guys are so good that they usually get it very very right very quickly so like it's always this big celebration it's like oh, oh my god dude. <laughs> and, it's and we're so all like fun. hugging each other and like fake punching and it's just great yeah and you can't help but love it but uh being the tenant and poor dan yeah poor dan had to sit there and like be like oh, okay guys uh, I, i'm so yes, sorry that is awesome please. but I, please could, could you just keep, keep it down for god's sake i'm gonna lose my apartment <laughs> i like what i like what earl does at the end of it just those who right Let's have a moment where we just listen. Yeah. Wait for it. <laughs> that was that was EJ at the end. Oh, I love that track. That that really did come out nice. So here we are, the final track of the EP. Oh, we're at the end already. That was quick. 10,000 10, people, people in what? 
I, you know, I wrote this song when I was 17. <laughs>